Hello there, I am Badgerlow and today I'm going to be presenting to you the Modern Warfare Multiplayer Mod, as I call it in English. Now, I'm presenting it on behalf of our friends at Mod Planet and my good friend Andrew. Now, the concept of the mod is a primarily multiplayer version of the already existing Modern Warfare Mod 3.0. Now, as you can see, I'm showing you there is there is already 10, 12 maps that, <laughs> that Mod Maker has just made himself. Now, if we just go into one of these maps so I can showcase you the playable factions, and then I will display them in-game later on. Now, in the um, lobby, before you play a game, you can choose to play as the forces of NATO, obviously Great Britain, France, Germany, the People's Liberation Army of China, yes, they are actually in the mod and they are awesome to play as, private tactical group or private military corporation, I guess, like mercenaries. The United States of America, of course, with all their might. And obviously the Russians, because the mod's made by Russians. It wouldn't be what it is without their contribution. Now, there's also a viewer to spectate. So let's move on to showcasing the units. Okay, so on to the units. First of all, the playable faction, the People's Liberation Army of China, has been completely added with a few remodeled Russian units and new voice lines actually. Now obviously as you can see they have a few new main battle tanks of their own and some strange looking units I think imported from various mods. Several um, obviously APCs, a multi-purpose like gun platform, I've never seen this before, it looks like an LAVT like from the World War II period but and there's a transport truck and various Humvees that they've modified because they, I think they kind of copy and pasted the American ones in real life and not the mod because the Chinese like to copy everything. Now, here we have the forces of the United States. Obviously, you've got all your Marines and Spec Ops, Delta Force. You've got the HIMARS, obviously, all of these BTR, no, BTRs, APCs, the M2 Bradley, the MRAP, the, it's the what is this M1134 Striker and you've got all the Abrams tanks now here's just some aircraft representation you've got the SU-25 Rook um, AWAC C-130 some drones as well over here is my favorite unit that they've added is the Robot 2 which is like this new Russian uh, drone that is used to combat tanks now, as you can see, if you're a fan of Sudden Strike, you'll know that this unit is actually a Japanese light tank. I'm not sure whether it's the Hago or something strange like that. But someone has remodeled the Hago to have an anti-aircraft gun on the roof. And it has a, obviously has anti-tank guided missiles, and it can take out tanks. Additionally, you have the chemical weapons. Um, here they are. I'll fire one there so you can see what it does. Here's some reinforcements. And also here you have um, some police cars. And a jeep with a recoilless rifle. Are oh, you still fine? Okay, so now you'll see the chemicals. Obviously this is actually in multiplayer instead of it sitting around. Not appearing in missions. These chemicals blow across with the wind. Can actually, they are devastating to infantry. Here's the forces of NATO, a combination of really just British and German units. They have the Jeopard anti-aircraft gun. Also some ZSU, which is Russian. I think there's also a mixture of Polish units as well, because they are somehow a mix between East and West. Now there's a lot of American units too, like the Striker. And there is French as well. There's the AMX Leclerc, the Challenger, oh, there's then there's the Challenger, because that's not French. They have all these trucks here. And here is the Russian Federation in all its glory, because it's the most detailed uh, faction in the mod. Now you have everything from the T-72 to the T-14 Armada. You have the, most, the three most powerful artillery pieces in the game. This 152mm gun and the D-30. The Fable D-30. All the multiple launch rocket systems. And of course, we actually have a missile launcher. Like, not just a multiple launch, a single launch. Um, we have lots of armoured, like, jeeps. 
we have the Terminator, which is great against the infantry, and an old BMP model. Now, over here, we have the last remaining faction I'm yet to show you, which is the Private Tactical Group, or the Mercenaries. Now, these are essentially just um, a mix of every single nation in the game, because you've got a Japanese main battle tank, a Polish PT-91 Tordi, a T-72S, then you've got Chechen fighters here, or guerrilla fighters, then you've got you sort of got like Spetsnaz, which could be from anywhere, then here you've got an M113 APC, a BMP-3 from the Suez Crisis Light Mod, the Striker, and then Turkish Unimog resupply trucks and Russian supply trucks, so they're a complete uh, mismatch like real guns for hired and they also have technicals with mortars on the back so if you would like to join in on these multiplayer battles and download the mod the link for it is actually in the video description along with a link to our whatsapp where you can contact us with any issues regarding the game or of course to play multiplayer and join in on the games that we are playing regularly between 7 and 8 central european time now we have had two two-on-two -two games so far with two Russian players, but we would also like to try for a three-on-three -three game because the maps are quite large. And the more of you that join, the more uh, awesome battles we can have and record and present. So I look forward to seeing someone, at least someone, on the battlefield. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, stick to Sudden Strike forever. I'll see you in the next video.